we all have body fat. And I'm sure that each of us has asked themselves the question, just how fat I am. My floor weight scales show that my body fat fluctuates around 12.8%. But since that percentage can easily change throughout the day, I decided to research the topic and measure my actual body fat percentage using different methods and see how the results compare to each other. Let's see what I've learned coming up. Hi, Andre here. Welcome to Practical Health, the channel that provides you with practical tips and tricks that will improve your health and quality of life. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And be sure to click that notification button to get notifications of new videos. Let's start with some of the science background that I learned while investigating the, this topic. We all have body fat, and that's a good thing. Body fat, or scientifically speaking, adipose tissue, is critically important for our health and well-being. Body fat has multiple functions. Number one, surrounds and cushions our vital organs, like the kidneys. Number two, it insulates us against the cold. Number three, it's our fuel tank, a strategic calorie reserve that protects us against starvation, and so on. So, what the minimum level of body fat? The essential level of body fat is about 2-4% for men and about 9-11% for women. A healthy level of body fat is in the range of 6-25% for men and 14-31% for women. Also, body fat has two flavors. Subcutaneous fat, which lies directly under the skin, and visceral fat, also known as deep fat. My research shows that there are six major techniques for measuring body fat. X-ray, electrical current, skin fall assessment, 3D scan, and body density measurements using either water or air. And they all have different measurement accuracies. First, Dual Energy X-ray Absorptionometry, or DEXA, is probably the most accurate method available today. It uses X-rays with two different energy levels to scan the body, and one of them is absorbed more strongly by the fat than the other. Next, the Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, or BIA, is probably the most convenient method. A small electric current is sent through the body, and since the electrical resistance is different for body fat, muscular tissue, and skeletal tissue, a device can calculate the percentage of body fat. Third, we can measure the various parameters of the human body, such as the thickness of skin folds or the circumference of various body parts, and so calculate the body fat. Fourth is the 3D body scan. This is when a measurement device scans the body and gets a 300-degree body image and calculates the body fat. Fifth, underwater weighing or hydrostatic weighing. This is a technique for measuring the mass per unit volume and since the average density of body fat is different from the density of other parts of the body, like muscles and bones, this lets us calculate the body fat. And finally, the last major approach is a displacement plate tomography, or ADP, which uses the same principles as underwater weighing, but is based on a displacement rather than on water immersion. I managed to measure my body fat using the first three methods. First, the DEXA scan technique. It took about seven minutes and informed me that my total body fat is 14.2%. Second, I tried two additional devices to conduct a bioelectrical impedance analysis. The multipoint method, which is the most accurate BIA method using the in-body device, showed 11.1% body fat. And the hand fat loss monitor showed 10.5%. And finally, the last technique using skin fall calipers told me that my body fat was 9.2%. So, as you can see, there is 5 percentage points difference in the reading from these three methods. And that's quite surprising. Also, as you can see, for me, the most accurate method is using skin fall calipers. Just kidding. So, I am very lean or an athlete based on my body fat percentage. And that's pretty good. 
But then I became really curious and wanted to figure out how exactly this fat is distributed across my body. In-body scanning can provide this information. So I found out that 8.6 pounds or 48% of my overall body fat is in my trunk. 5.8 pounds or 32% of my fat is in my legs, 16% in each leg. And the remaining 20% is in my arms. And finally, I wanted to find out the breakdown between the subcutaneous fat and the visceral fat on my body. Fortunately, the DEXA scan can give us that information. And so, I have about quarter pound of visceral fat or deep fat in there somewhere. While the rest is subcutaneous fat. And that is, as I understand, quite good. So, now you know a lot more about me and my fat. If you are interested in tracking your body fat, you might want to try some of the available techniques, like BIA or a DEXA scan or a skin for assessment to see the different results you get from different methods. But after that, I suggest you stick to one technique to get consistent results, because it's the dynamics of your regular readings that you should be focusing on. By the way, if you are looking for some good weight scales, I recommend getting those with Wi-Fi connection. That way, they will automatically keep a history of your measurements, and you can review them on your phone or computer. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. Now comes the question of the day. If you had a chance to measure your body fat using different methods, what was the biggest difference between the readings? Please post your answers in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, share this video, and hit that like button. See you next time. Bye.